For decades, Britain's Royal Shakespeare Company has perfected the art of dressing up. It has a collection of around 60,000 weird and wonderful wardrobe items, including some of the most famous outfits in British theater history from plays like Taming the Shrew and Hamlet. And soon visitors will get to see the making of the costumes up close. Roxana Saberi gives us a behind the scenes look. In the birthplace of the Bard, the Royal Shakespeare Company performs his classics. I'll see the hand on Sunday first. And contemporary creations. I'm Adele the Brave. Got it. Within these walls, all the world's a stage. And these are the men and women who stitch it together. This is a scruffer. So it um, was designed for roughing up the bottom of ballet shoes. Oh. So yeah. you're trying hard to make something new look old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's quite and to give it to give it a history. As the largest in-house workshop of its kind in British theatre, it's dressed a list of legendary actors, from Richard Burton as Henry V to Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee. Head of collections Robin Greenwood curates the company's most iconic garments. We've got Ian McKellen, Judy Dench. We don't just make theater, we make costumes, we make a craft. And starting next year, these unsung players will get their chance to be front and center when their recently renovated workshop opens to the public for the first time. So this is our women's costume studio. Alistair MacArthur and his team gave us a preview. The sketches, markups, and pieces from the bottom to the top for their latest production. So these are part of um, it's the costume prop world, uh, part of Magician's Elephant. Are these real feathers? Yes. It's very rare you can find stuff like this on Amazon that's going to last 100 performances. And that's why you have to make and it. And that's why we have to make it. Almost entirely by hand, like in Shakespeare's day. Alan Smith has hammered out helmets, shields, and swords for three decades. Part of the reason why we do a lot of it in-house is obviously it saves money, but also so we have a lot more creative control. Leather breastplates take an average of 70 hours to craft. At my signal, unleash hell. Some items have segued from stage to screen, appearing in Gladiator, Braveheart, and Shakespeare in Love. Pretty much all the pieces end up at the company's sprawling rental shop. Manager Pippa Steri says each one is marked with a label showing which actor wore it last. This is Judi Dench's dress from All's Well. You trust it in somebody's hands? Yeah, because people know the history of it and they know whose it is. They always kind of look after it. With 60,000 items, you can find almost anything you're looking for. Somebody wanted a life-size pigeon costume, which um, we don't have. <laughs> um, if anyone wants to dress you up don't. as a pigeon, no, we don't have a pigeon. We've got a chicken costume in there. There are also crow's heads and more, each rental for around $125. Here, you can also spot some behind-the-scenes mm. secrets. And then you have this, which has got the magnets, so then that so will stay. and then They're easy to take on and off. A costume's ultimate test comes after months in the making. Every single detail has been thought about and helps you just embody that character. When the actor it was meant to serve, like Summer Strallen in The Magician's Elephant, puts it on. All good, thanks, darling. Okay. For the team behind the seams, all's well. This place is going to the dog. That fits well. For CBS Mornings, Roxana Saberi, Stratford-upon-Avon, England. Thank you, Roxana. You, you catch that the team behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Costumes make such a difference in whatever it is you're watching. Halloween 2022, <laughs> here I come. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm so glad somebody's doing the work. Looks like a fun place to work.